All right. We're about eight, nine minutes away or ten minutes away or so from Luke Radowski joining us. And then after he leaves us, I'm going to blitz through about 20 or 30 stories I haven't gotten to yet. But right now, let's continue with your calls. David in Florida, welcome, sir. Hello? Hey. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Hey, I got a couple things. One is um, you're like in the Lord of the Rings or something, and you're one of the fellowship carrying, and you know, you feel the evil. And the rest of us kind of, you know, are like armchair people or something, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Plus, I, I saw you on Opie and, and uh, Anthony, and I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but on the 6th when he had that program about uh, Ventura, I made a comment out of 15 comments, and I said, I challenge you to have Alex on and question him about that. And all of a sudden last night I see that you're, you were on there, and I was hoping you'd be just a little bit harder because they make fun of Ventura and you when you're not on there. Well, well, I want to be clear. I was on there at like 7 in the morning a few days ago, and after I was on, I thought, man, I should have talked about that guy calling the Iraqi savages. I should have done this and that. But I ended up working late that night, and so I usually get up about 5.30, but I got up that day at about 6.30, made coffee, was barely awake uh, when you know they called, where I, where I called into their number. They asked me to call about five minutes before, and then I didn't know that guy was going to be on there. They kept going, psh, psh, where they were like, putting me on and off the air. So I don't even, I never even went and watched uh, the video, the audio of what happened. I don't even know if they edited me or were fading me up and down. I mean, I know I've been on there before and they, you know, play stuff in the background and stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was just trying to be even, uh, you know, with the information. But I was, I mean, I was clearly in defense of Ventura, right? I mean, I made the, you know, made the points that I believed his story and didn't think that guy was cred uh, uh, credible. Um. I no, I mean, I'm asking that. you. I haven't seen the interview. I haven't heard the interview. I mean, so so be critical of, of me. Did it look like it was edited, no, no, A? No, no. Yeah. You did very good, and you defeated every one of their arguments. But, I mean, they are some, they're some sneaky characters, and they talk, They called him a douche, and, and they were kind of making fun of you and stuff, which I just, you know, they're just I know, but see, with people like that, when there's three hosts, and they are in control of the phone line, if you don't act a little friendly, they won't even let you talk. And so to even, and that's why half awake, I was just going to be friendly, but make my points, because those type of guys, I mean, look, it's an entertainment show. It reaches a lot of people, uh, and I know they make fun of me, but it doesn't matter because people are going to go find the truth, and so I don't mind being made fun of. And I was just there to basically defend Ventura, uh, and, uh, you know, that guy doesn't even know he's hooked in with Richard Pearl. And you notice he's, he kept saying, I want to meet with Ventura. I want to fix this. Uh, and I've talked to Jesse. I believe Jesse. And Jesse is going to go after him. I'm just going to leave it at that. And uh, so we'll see what ends up happening. Yeah, um, I also, um, double speak news is my suggestion. But Alex, you did great. And I, I really love you. And um, just keep doing what you're doing. Well, thank you. Let me ask this question because they spin everything. I said Kyle sounded scripted. And the way somebody called in sounded like a way to get that going. I wasn't saying Opie and Anthony were in on it, to be clear. But uh, when I was on as a talk show host, I just kept hearing the on and off button for me being put on and off as a caller a whole bunch. And at one time I said, hey, are you guys, am I on air? And they say, oh, we're censoring you. The government is. Did it, did it sound like I was getting my sentences out when you heard me on there? Um, they were cutting you in and out and making comments and stuff at the, like towards the end. Yeah, that's what I thought. It, my son, my son came home and he's like, "Let me listen to that." Those dirty, you know, he was calling. Well, me. here's my concern because I talked to Ventura and Tyrell a few days ago and I said, "Hey, you might want to hear that interview." But I said, "Just know at the end they said you believe Kyle now, you believe Jesse's lying now." And then I would say, "No, I believe Jesse out here." Like they were putting me on and off, so I don't know what they were. I, I meant to go listen to it. I got too busy. Uh, but the point is, is that when they asked that at the end of, you know, you don't believe in Tura, do you? Did they let me get it out that I do believe in Tura? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, good. They better. I, that, that, because, I mean, yeah, I won't put no. up with somebody doing that. We all believe him. I mean, that guy looks like he's almost mind controlled. I hate to say that, but. You know, it's funny you'd say that. Once I was on with Kyle, he sounded childlike. 
I mean, didn't he sound like a little child? Yeah, he wasn't so aggressive. He was, like, a lot more aggressive when he was on with them. And then all of a sudden, he's like, when you got on there, he was, like, a total, like, you know. Well, see, that's my problem, too. When people aren't aggressive with me, I have trouble being aggressive with them. But then when somebody's aggressive, then I get aggressive. Uh, I mean, that's just how I am. But I appreciate your call. We'll be back with Luke Radowski in the Newt Gingrich confrontation. We're on the march. By the way, a pretty big musician, about as big as it gets, was going to come to town a few months ago. Wanted to come to town to visit a friend of mine. And um, then some stuff came up and couldn't come to town. And in the next few weeks, he, he's probably going to come to town. So we should have a pretty interesting fellow here with us uh, in studio. I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, it's. They say it's going to happen. They got the plane tickets. They're coming here, but it's still you got to pinch yourself. Uh, life is so much more interesting than uh, than uh, fiction could ever ever be. Okay, coming up after Luke Radowski of We Are Change leaves us here in about fifteen minutes or so. I want to hit some news. UN soldiers brought deadly superbugs to Americas, uh, and Harvard Medical School and others have found this. Now, this is what. The Haitians said with the U.N. troops, they said, we didn't have cholera on this island. We didn't have all these other things. Now they're here. And they, they said the U.N.'s doing it on purpose. Uh, but uh, now uh, there's a big report on that. And, and uh, also another one out here out of RT. U.S. builds hospitals in Georgia, readies for war with Iran. And uh, it goes on that the U.S. government admits they're building these hospitals ahead of the war. Uh, so very, very bizarre uh, developments. I mean, I guess it's not bizarre. It's happening, but it, it's still crazy that the world is hurtling towards this. Now, uh, this next piece of news is up at Infowars.com. You can also go to Luke's uh, Facebook and Twitter. We'll give you those in a moment. But it's an article up there uh, where Newt Gingrich caught lying about Bohemian Grove. Kurt Nemo wrote a, a story uh, on it at Infowars.com that has the video. Now, if you're a radio listener, this is powerful audio. But the video really makes it powerful because when he's uh, you know, having it brought up to him that gay prostitutes are there, we show the New York Post and other publications, Luke does, uh, where it says the gay porn stars get off the jets and go in. And Vanity Fair's reported this, People Magazine, all of them. I've been inside and been chased around like it was Pepe Le Pew uh, when I snuck in for four and a half hours with Mike Hansen. He's a witness as well. First time in my life I've had men whistling at me. And then I would kind of hurry away, and they would giggle and laugh and begin like goblins running after me. And there's a clip of Richard Nixon here talking about it as well to Harper's Magazine. He's on Bahamian Grove, yeah, the most GD you know, thing bleeping you could ever imagine. I mean, I, I, we're going to have to bleep it out, but it's uh, the, the whole video is at InfoWars.com. But the point is, is that Newt says, you're crazy, you're insane. Kind of like a few months ago, hey, the U.S. and Israel are attacking Iran inside with covert operations. Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. You're crazy. Hey, Newt, uh, you supported Hillary. I mean, not Hillary Care, but other models of it. Oh, you're crazy. You supported carbon taxes. Oh, you're crazy. Hey, Mitt Romney, you supported carbon taxes. Oh, you're crazy. Again, they just say you're crazy. They don't respond to, hey, you're a member of Bohemian Grove. Here, we, we show their own annals, their own publications. Uh, in fact, they have shots of the animal I was sent by a widower of him there, of him a key speaker. We'll play this video in audio and then get Luke Radowski, uh, who did the interviews, uh, take on it. Here it is. There's Newt Ginrich. There's Luke. Taking pictures now. Stands in line, gets a photo with him first. Consider yourself a Catholic, but what happens when you worship Moloch at the Bohemian Grove? And then the footage from Infowars.com. I shot of the ritual taking place. New York Post says uh, that male prostitutes are shipped in into the Bohemian Grove. Shows the New York Post, gay porn star service moguls, Bohemian Grove. And look whose name is on the list. Hmm. Can you tell us what happens there? You actually believe all this junk? Bill Clinton said that Republicans run around naked in the woods there. Did you say the Bohemian Club? Yeah. That's where all those rich Republicans go up and stand naked against redwood trees, right? <laughs> I've never been to the Bohemian Club, but you ought to go. It'd be good for you. Get some fresh air. And you don't want to know what Richard Nixon said about the place. The Bohemian Grove.
That's the place you attended. It's a secret society. Can you tell us at least who invited you? <laughs> you know, it's nice to know that there's some people who have fantasy lives not that fantasy. have nothing to touch with. Nice to have you here. Bye-bye. You, bye -bye. you can't answer the question? You can't? Can you answer the question? See you later. Again, for radio and TV listeners, we had to fade down the whole Nixon thing because it's got a bunch of GDs and uh, and you know I'm calling them the, pejor the the pejorative for homosexuals and all the rest of it. But the full video is at Infowars.com. They say they faded it down. I heard it in my ear, but I told the network to delay it. Sorry if that went out, but it was no, it was no FCC stuff. It was just you know GDs and this and that. Uh, but uh, again. That's Nixon talking about it. And, of course, uh, the only, that's a great video, uh, Luke, but I would have also added a little bit of the David Gergen, but that might have made it too long. But, uh, wow, uh, for radio listeners, you miss the facial expressions of Newt. I mean, he looks like a little devil right there. Uh, but uh, break this down for us, Luke, and some of the other stuff you've been seeing in Iowa and New Hampshire uh, and the work you're doing. And also give us your Facebook and Twitter pages. I just want to encourage everybody out there to be the media because the mainstream media, the whole response, the press suits have been failing us. I think that's why we're in so much trouble right now because uh, the fourth branch of our government has not been doing a job of checks and balances. And I just want to tell everybody this is so easy. I mean, I got into New Hampshire uh, and I was two hours into the New Gingrich event. I just walked in. It was already over. He was still shaking hands. Nobody questioned us. We walked in, stood in line, shook his hand, and asked the question. You know, and I was only in New Hampshire for about 48 hours, and then I got Rick Santorum. I got Mitt Romney. I got comments from Ron Paul, Rand Paul. It's really the, the time right now for everybody to grasp the true, true authority and the true powers that they have to actually change the face of politics and mainstream uh, conversation in this political presidential uh, elections this year by going out there and actually talking to the candidates about things that the mainstream media wouldn't even dare to bring up because uh, if nobody's going to talk about these things, it's up to people to actually bring this up. And I just want to encourage everybody, just get out there. I know many people are afraid that something may happen, uh, but nothing's going to happen if you go out there and you ask questions and you demand answers from people who, are, who want to be the leader of the United States and want to be president. Well, Luke, I love your correspondent comment. That's a good name for him with the prostitutes, uh, the globalist uh, mouthpieces. My dad called up on the cell phone during a break and said, you know, New World Order mouthpiece media or mouthpiece media. Uh, but uh, for, for radio listeners, describe, who couldn't see the video, describe the interaction and the way Newt was acting. And then all he says is, you're crazy. I mean, that, and it's on record. He goes there, all this goes on. And you know, this isn't 20 years ago where there was no internet, and he can just sit there and shovel bull at you. Yeah, they think they could lie, but right now with the Internet, the truth has more power than anything else out there. This is actually not the first time I actually got Newt Gingrich on Bohemian Grove. I talked to him at CPAC last year. I brought up the Bohemian Grove three times, and he just walked away like he didn't even hear me. Uh, this time was pretty interesting. He was taking pictures and shaking.